Hey traders, Optimus Futures here, bringing you a new tutorial. And in this video, we'll be showing off our latest feature that we've added to the platform. It's an AI assistant built directly into Optimus Flow that's there to provide you with technical support if needed. So you can find this feature up in the top left corner of your platform. It's the new icon here on your favorites menu. It's the HLP button. It's this purple pink icon you see that I'm hovering over. You can click on it and open it right up. If for whatever reason you do not see this icon in the top left corner of your platform, your platform may be out of date. So you'll want to hover down in the main menu here to the bottom where you currently see about. If an update is available, you may need to click on new version. You can also use the four icons in the top right of your software. One looks like a refresh or recycle icon. If that icon is green, that means there's a new update. So go ahead and prompt the new update and you should get this new feature. And to piggyback on top of that, if you still don't see it after you've updated, you can come down, open the main menu, come down to the bottom section, go to the mis miscellaneous section here and click on HLP, AI Assistant. There is a star icon in the top right of that feature. If you click on that star, it'll add it to the toolbar here. These are how you favorite different panels. So if there are, whether it's H, um, help assistant or the H, AI assistant or something else on the platform, whether that be order placing or news, you can click on the star in the top right of these features and add it to your favorites toolbar at the top. So again, if there is a feature that you use quite often, you probably want to add it here. Specifically, this is how you add the AI assistant. Again, once you have it added here or through the main menu, just click on it to open it up. And like I mentioned before, this is for technical support. So this doesn't give any sort of trading advice or recommend or endorse any specific strategies. That is not its intention. The intention of this function is to help you technically. So if you need to open up a TPO chart, if you're not sure how to add or re remove drawing tools that you've added, adding indicators, customization, things of that nature, technical features within the platform, this AI assistant can help you with. Now, I do want to preface it by saying that all sources we have added to the AI assistant are believed to be reliable, but this is AI, so it does generate its own responses, and there's no human intervention within those responses. So if you do get a response that seems inaccurate or off in any way, feel free to report it to us to support at optimistfutures.com or head over to our community forum. It's community optimistfutures.com and you can ask about um, the validity of your question you can ask us whether it's reliable and if there's anything off we'll either correct it or we'll intervene and, and give you a correct response so again from time to time this is ai so it could potentially provide inaccurate answers please if you see that just confirm with an optimist employee whether or not that answer was correct. And if it's not, we'll correct it for you and, and get it corrected for the AI for, for any future questions of, of similar nature. Okay, now once you have the AI assistant open, this feature is actually very straightforward and pretty easy to use. It, it's fairly self-explanatory. This is a chat bot. You can see here is a chat window that it opens up with. It'll always start off with, hi, how can I help you? Or what can I help you with? And from here, you have your dialog box in the bottom, and you simply need to type in whatever question you have. Now, for the most accurate answers, in my opinion, the best thing you can do is always type in Optimus Flow at the end of your question. So let's say, for example, you did not know how to open up a TPO chart on Optimus Flow. You can go in here and type in your question, how to configure TPO charts on Optimus Flow. Go ahead and enter, and you see it'll give you a, a response right away. The response in this case is accurate. To configure TPO charts on Optimus Flow, you can follow these steps. One, click on the main menu, the logo icon in the platform. It's in the top left here. Then you go down to the analytics section, you click on TPO. And as simple as that, it opens up a TPO chart and now you can begin customizing it. So that's a simple answer, of course. You can get very complex with this. Something that's also very cool with this is you can use multiple languages. So if you aren't a native English speaker and have any trouble understanding this here, you can type it in in your native language and it will give the response back in that native language. You can either ask, uh, type in your language here and ask it to um, translate the answer for you 
to the different language, or you can just type it in in your native language. So for example, here's the same question. I personally don't speak Spanish, but I've just used Google Translate to translate this for me. Assuming I was a Spanish speaker, I type this in. And as you can see, it essentially gives the same response, just converted in Spanish. So we can see it's the same three steps here. Go to the analytical section, click on the Optimus Flow logo, open your TPO panel. So again, and as you can see, I'm typing it in in Spanish. It gives me Spanish responses and all my answers end in Optimus Flow. That way the AI assistant knows that you're asking questions related to Optimus Flow. Again, we've given it answers that it should provide accurate um, answers, even if you ask a general question not specific to Optimus Flow. But again, because it's AI, sometimes it will pull in from other sources that could potentially give you inaccurate answers. This is more of a convenience tool. Again, anything you try and type in here, if you feel it is inaccurate or seems a little bit off, please confirm with us and one of our reps will help you out. Moving on to another question. Again, this is AI and you can really get creative with your questions if you'd like to. Just showing off another example, just to show uh, this feature off a little bit more in real time. I came up with this answer. How do I change chart timeframes on Optimus Flow? Um, I put that in Spanish, but I meant to put the English version. So let's go ahead and check out the answer it gives us here. So again, locate the time selector on the chart interface. Click the time uh, frame selector to open up the drop down menu. And from the drop down menu, select the desired time frame in your chart. You can go ahead up here in the to top left. This is your time selector. And as you can see, these are the different time frames we have, the different period types, your chart aggregation. So again, the AI will really answer anything you want to throw at it. Feel free to get creative. Something you can do is if your window here is flooded and it's giving you too much answers or you just want to clean things up, you can go in the top left here and you'll see there is that recycle icon. Go ahead and click on that and it'll wipe out all the different answers. Um, if you use this feature often and you have multiple monitors and you always want this up, you could consider clicking on the uh, hamburger menu icon here in the top left and click always on top. This will allow this functionality to stay on top of your windows, regardless of whatever else you open. So if you are looking at an answer and you don't want this going to the background, consider clicking always on top. And as mentioned, that function will just always be displayed at the very top of your workspace. This feature, there's really not much else to show off here. It's very straightforward, but it can be used uh, very powerfully if you need some technical assistance in some short time, uh, feel free to try this feature first. Again, if any answers don't satisfy your needs or you just need more help, feel free to come back to us, email us at support at optimistfutures.com, go to our community forum, and we'll happily give you technical support there as well. We just wanted to add this as a really quick, convenient way that our customers can get some help uh, without much wait time. So we hope you find this helpful. Feel free to reach out to us if you do have any questions or need any further assistance than the AI technical assistant provides. Remember, this function in feature is only for technical support. It does not provide accurate answers for trading advice, nor will it give you trading advice. We don't recommend or endorse any specific strategy, trading method, or any method methodology that this AI assistant gives you. It is not Provided by Optimus, we do not provide our traders with any trading advice of that nature. So again, please only use this for technical support, things like configuring charts, drawing tools, indicators, things of that nature. Thanks again for watching, and we hope you find it helpful.